Hey there, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a back scabbard holster thing. I'm not entirely sure what to call this thing. It's just, you know, you, a harness thing that you put on your, you know, back and then you put swords in it, kind of like how I have it here. Um, it might not look super pretty, but uh, this is kind of more of a, I guess, a version one sort of thing. It works, but I mean, obviously it could be better. But uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make one. But first of all, I'm going to kind of talk about like what you would want to use this for. So you'd probably want to use this more for LARP or cosplay. I don't really see this holding up super well. Maybe if you use actual leather, if you're like trying to like, you know, spar. But yeah, if you use actual leather, this is just, this is not very good. But uh, it works for, you know, cosplay and stuff. But I'll get more into how you actually make this though. But first, I'm going to show you my uh, swords that I have that I made specifically for this one. So here we have my swords. Um, obviously, if you played The Witcher, you know kind of what this is going for. I basically made this back scabbard thing for The Witcher. Uh, but yeah, we have a silver and a steel sword here. Uh, kind of the steel sword's modeled more after the steel sword that we see in the promotional material. Silver sword's kind of more of a basic one, but yeah, I'm going to go over the silver sword first because I think it's a bit more interesting. The steel sword works pretty well, but yeah. So with the steel sword, um, no, actually with both swords, uh, both of the handles are 3D printed. I found the files for the whole sword um, on Thingiverse, but the blades were pretty flimsy and they wouldn't really work for, uh, like, you know, and they might work for cosplay though, but definitely not for LARP. So I devised a new blade. This blade is made out of foam and it uses a golf club shaft um, as the core. Uh, for the actual handle part, it's 3D printed, obviously, so you gotta have a 3D printer. But um, it has two steel rods running down the whole thing up until probably about here, I would say. And then I basically put the golf club shaft over it and I put some cardboard and then two pieces of foam on the edge side. So essentially like it makes like a little V shape. And then I basically glued down the center and then I sanded it down until, you know, it looks pretty nice, I would say. Obviously you can kind of tell on camera that there's like, you know, some glue seams and stuff that I did not get entirely. And then for this, I just cut a piece of foam out of the actual blade. I put some wood filler and then I kind of sanded it down and I put primer filler in it. Cause you know, that's the stuff you use for 3d printing, you know, to make it look kind of nice. Cause you know, you really can't tell it's 3d printed. Okay. Maybe a little bit though, but on the steel sword, I did a much better job because this is like the second thing I've had to do this for first one being a Mandalorian helmet. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. For the wrap, I used electrical tape because I thought that would look kind of nice. You could use leather, maybe something even more exotic than that. But, you know, electrical tape gets the job done. I didn't do a super great job. I added this piece here. This is just a piece of foam that I um, put a primer filler over. So it's kind of squishy, though. But I didn't really like how the pommel was because, like, it kind of, like, I don't know, had, like, a weird thing to it. But I wanted to add that in there. I think eventually I do want to make a a better handle in the future because this one, there's two steel rods running for the, I guess, the guard. <laughs> what do you even call that thing? I don't know. The guard, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Um, but there's it's very thin, though, and I accidentally broke, I think, yeah, this one here. You can kind of tell there's like some super glue. Well, you really can't tell, but... um. I accidentally broke it just by accidentally putting a bit too much force right there, which I didn't mean to do. It just kind of happened when I was building it. But uh, yeah, so I had to re-glue that down. But I think if I did remake this, I would want to move the fins for the, um, the guard. I guess it's the guard. I don't know. Handle, whatever heck you want to call this thing. I don't know. I forget what it's called. It's sorry. I know I'm kind of nervous, but um. Bring those two pieces in so it's a bit more V-shaped because that's kind of how it is in game anyway. And then maybe also try and figure out how to make like the steel rod kind of go through more so it's not so flimsy. So yeah, but that's the silver sword. And both of the, this file actually I didn't modify at all. With the steel sword though, I did modify it because it didn't really meet my, I guess, specifications. Now there were actually two silver sword um, files that the guy had. One was for... One where you would just glue the pieces together directly, which would basically mean that, you know, if you accidentally snap the sword in half, there wouldn't be any sort of like internal support to help it. But then he made a version where there's holes in it that run through, you know, with steel rods. 
Now with this one, I shall show you here because I actually have the original pieces. Um, it is kind of the same. There's obviously the two holes though, but as you can tell, they're kind of far apart. And with the golf club shaft, you want it to be as close together as possible. So I think when I redesigned it, I had like a millimeter gap for the holes. And that worked out pretty well because that was basically what the steel sword was. So I basically redesigned this one to be kind of similar to this one. Now, of course, I don't have a blade because both swords had a blade. This is kind of what the blade looks like. There's like holes in it, but uh, it doesn't really work that well. And honestly, the silver sword one, there was like a gap where there were no steel rods in it and I accidentally snapped it. So it basically was useless. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do about that. I mean, if you're going to display it on your wall, it works, but it doesn't really look that great, honestly. And the blade's kind of thin. Like, I think this, this isn't the widest piece, though, but yeah, look how thin that is. I mean, I guess it's kind of how a regular, I mean, like, it should be like maybe, I don't know, just maybe a little bit thicker. I don't know, just, just for more structure, because like 3D printed stuff, it's pretty easy just to snap. Like, actually, when I was testing this, I snapped this piece here. You can kind of see what it looks like. Keep, where the hell is the camera? There it is. I accidentally snapped it while I was trying to test it, though. It, it, it holds up pretty well. All right, anyways, we're enough rambling about that. <clears throat> so, with the steel sword, I had to redesign it. So, basically, it's more like this sword. Um, obviously, the two steel rods. And also, the pommel. Like, for some reason, the holes ended, like, here. So, I just ended it probably down to about there. But, yeah, two steel rods running through the whole thing. And then, for the uh, guard, I added longer steel rods to it. So, basically, now it's, like, probably about to do that there. So, that way, you know, if you accidentally hit here... It's not just going to snap off, which I almost probably just broke it because I think the the ends are uh, a little. But I also added a few like decorative touches, like there these little uh, half sphere things were on the ends before, and also this ring here wasn't on the actual file that you can find. Blade was basically made the same way, although with this one I kind of rushed a little bit, so it's a bit thicker and a little more ugly looking. But I kind of like that a bit more because it's you know a steel sword. It should look kind of, I don't know, beat up a little bit because you're going to be fighting with them. Or the steel sword, you're kind of more hacking at, or no, silver sword, you're hacking at, you know, monsters. You're not really going to be like, you know, getting into like a bind or whatever. Sorry if this is a really bad video. I'm just, I just thought I wanted to share this. Okay, yeah, that's, too, that's enough a lot about that. Now we're going to go on to the sword sheaves. Now with these, these are basically a cereal box cardboard or like, you know, pop like you know you get like a 24 pack of pepsi or whatever you know you get that cardboard that's basically what this whole thing's made of and then you basically wrap it in leather this leather i got from hobby lobby i think they're having a sale um but yeah so basically you know you want to get your sword and then you want to like test fit to make sure it fits in there and like that looks pretty nice right uh now with these originally they did have this part covered though but then i kind of realized that it's hard to draw like a 28 inch blade from your back without some sort of like opening here. So I added this opening here. So that way, you know, you don't have to draw as far. It's like, I think it's like eight or 10 inches. You can kind of eyeball it with your swords. But yeah, but both swords have it. And then also, whoops. Also on the end down here, I kind of like this wrapping part because that's kind of how the swords in game are. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. And then for the, I guess, metal pieces, metal, metal, uh, they're just foam, and I just spray uh, plastic dip them and then paint them silver. So yeah, but both swords have a sheath or scabbard, I guess I should say. And they work pretty well. They look pretty nice. That one there is flat. This one here had like the little V shape in it. But yeah, I kind of tried to make them look like, you know, as realistic to The Witcher 3 as possible. So yeah, and then that's the uh, sword sheaths. Now basically you can do this with any sword, you know, if you have the actual official... Or not official though, but like the metal Witcher blades. This might work. I'm not entirely sure though. They're a lot heavier. These things aren't very heavy at all, so I'm okay with it. But you might have noticed that I have a piece of Velcro here, and you might have noticed that there's a piece of Velcro on the actual um, on the actual sword harness thing. And basically, just with these straps here, um, it's a since these straps have like a felt backing to them, like those sheaths kind of like slide in and out. So I had this Velcro here, and I made the silver one a bit higher up, so that way they wouldn't get in the way of each other. Um, so yeah, but I'll show you what that looks like now. So as you can see now, it is on my back, and they actually hold them at a pretty good angle. 
like I said before, I basically tried to offset them a little bit so that way, you know, they wouldn't get in each other's way, but they kind of get in the way a little bit. But um, with the Velcro on there, you can actually kind of like wiggle them around and also like kind of bend them back and forth. And this is what the uh, um, belts look like. Well, actually, hold on. There we go. It's a little bit better. But yeah, you got the main shoulder belt. This is your right side belt. And then this over here is where your buckle is. And that's, you know, obviously you got multiple holes. So, you know, in case you're thinner or, you know, big, then you can kind of adjust it. And also another thing to take in consideration is, you know, when you have your actual armor on. Um, I might have to adjust this because it might be a bit too tight. But I guess we'll see kind of what happens when I have my actual get up on. But uh, yeah, I think it works pretty well. If it holds them at a pretty decent angle too. Let me show you. It's my butt. But uh, yeah, it's not a very great shot though, but I hope you can kind of see back there. Don't look at my butt too much, but that's all right. But uh, yeah, that's the, that's the, basically the sword belt. I'm um, planning to make an actual whole Witcher cosplay, so see how that goes, see how well this video does even, because I just thought, you know, share it, and also you can kind of, you know, kind of like how Geralt does, move the belt up to kind of bring the swords up, and yeah, and since another thing too, since basically the swords are sitting kind of like on your lower back, you can kind of like, since they're not really attached to your shoulder at all, they're attached basically to like your, you know, back area, so you know, you can kind of, they're kind of free floating, I guess, there, but yeah. They work pretty well, I think. I really like them. Um, I mean, I haven't really used them that much, but yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, def you can definitely improve upon this, 100%. Like, I, I've already had a few new ideas for this, though, but yeah. Anyhow. So I hope that was useful. Basically, it's just a piece of cardboard with some foam, or you can use actual leather, and then three belts, and then a ring for the, you know, the iconic three-sided belt and you can also use this you know for other cosplays that you're doing you know, if you need like a sword on your back or like a scabbard on your back you know it works out pretty well all right here's an actual shot of like the swords in the basically the scabbard here so you know obviously you got both swords i had the silver sword overlapping the steel one and that's because i think you know i think in the actual game like this silver one's overlapping but obviously since it's the game you know they can the meshes can collide with each other and also these things are kind of poking towards each other but i mean I don't know, it's just you know since there's a bit of wiggle room so you can kind of do whatever but yeah but uh, basically these are the adjustment straps these are just here for looks honestly plus also just a bit more security because just the velcro on there would be a bit risque i would say but yeah but here is your buckle your buckle belt and you can also put buckles on this belt and also your main shoulder belt, but I just didn't do that. If you want to, you can. Um, another thing, too, to consider is that this basically is just a flat piece, so it's going to be laying on your back kind of flat. So if you have, like, a piece of leather, you might be able to shape it a little bit so, it, you know, it's a bit more curved. But no, it doesn't matter that much, though, but yeah. But I think, you know, it works out pretty well. Another thing, too, to consider when you're drawing the swords out. And this kind of do with one hand. Um... You don't want it to be too tight for these belts because, you know, you're going to be able to draw them out. No, but you also don't want to... Well, I guess you could have it... Well, no, it just depends. If you could have it looser too, but... Yeah. And then also, I made it so the slits are pretty much visible, so you can draw both of them. Uh, when you do draw them, you, you... At least kind of what I've figured is you have to basically, you know, pull one sword down here at the bottom, like, you know, pull it down... Or pull actually I think pull it down yeah like pull like if you're gonna draw you know the steel sword you would like push the silver one down with your left hand and then draw steel with your right and vice versa you'd probably push down the left one no matter what honestly because the left one would probably be easier to push just because it has that pushing up effects that way you know they're not on the same level I hope that made sense but uh yeah you know it works I think it works pretty well obviously if you use actual leather instead of you know foam and cardboard it would probably be a lot better plus also if you know if you use actual swords but you know i'm just doing this for cosplay you know i'm not really trying to be like oh i'm gonna do, do larp i don't really know if these swords would i don't think these swords are considered larp because you know we have the 3d printed bits here and these are kind of i mean they look nice but they would probably break and then you have steel rod in there and then that might hurt someone, especially with these here. You might, you know, accidentally poke someone, but you wouldn't really fight with a silver sword against humans. 
But anyway, that's enough of my rambling. But um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like. And also, please, you know, don't mind the brown stuff. So, yeah. If you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment. You know, if anybody, if anybody watches the video, I'm not entirely sure. I decided to make this. I might make a few more in the future. We'll see, though. So, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.